On this channel, we often bring you aircraft designs that are simple and surprisingly efficient. The e-copter from FlyNow is one such flying machine. It does not have a typical flying taxi configuration with multiple tilting rotors on wings. And yet, the e-copter has a range of 31 miles and a cruising speed of 130 km per hour or 81 miles per hour with another 25 miles in reserve. This is quite high for an eVTOL that does not drive any lift from fixed wings. For comparison, let's look at the Volocopter, a similar type of eVTOL that relies on motors for both lift and thrust. The range of the Volocopter is nearly half, that is 17 miles as opposed to 31 miles for the e-copter and the top speed is also lower at just 43 miles per hour. So how can the e-copter achieve such high performance? Let's delve into its engineering secrets. The top performance of Flynow's e-copter comes from the NASA's Ingenuity, which is also a single counter-rotating coaxial rotor helicopter that was built to fly on Mars. The simple brilliance of Ingenuity's design cannot be understated. It was produced to make no more than five test flights in 30 days on Mars. The helicopter eventually completed 72 flights in just under three years, soaring higher and faster than previously imagined. The Ingenuity was the first aircraft to achieve powered controlled flight on another planet. One has to bear in mind that the atmosphere on Mars is extremely thin. The density of air on Mars is just 20 grams per metric cube, that is just 2% of Earth's density. And yet, this 1.8 kilograms weight flying machine was able to reach altitude of 24 meters, even though it was designed to reach just 5 meters. The high performance of the Ingenuity came from the single counter-rotating coaxial rotor, which is one of the most efficient configuration for a hovering vehicle as it does not require a tail rotor. Note that the tail rotor that is present in a helicopter for overcoming that rotor torque can consume as much as 30% of the power. Even when compared to other multi-rotor configurations like the Volocopter, the single coaxial rotor configuration requires 55% less power for the same amount of lift. Let's now look at some numbers for the e-copter. The rotor diameter of the e-copter is 3 meters. The empty weight is just 240 kilograms with a payload capacity of 120 kilograms for the single-seater version. The disc loading, when fully loaded, comes around to be 52 kilograms per square meter, which makes it the lowest among the existing e-VTOLs in the market. The e-copter blades do not auto-rotate, and so for safety, it relies on redundant motors. It has a total of eight electric motors, four for each rotor. This means even if one or several motors fail, it can still land safely. The rotor blades are fixed pitch, but the all-electric powertrain allows each motor blade to be spun at different RPM for directional control to turn in place. Unlike the helicopter, which has a complex motor hub and swash blade assembly that allows both the pitch of the rotor blades and the axis of rotation to be changed. In the e-copter, the whole rotor assembly can be tilted for thrust vectoring. This greatly reduces the mechanical complexity. It is quite true with a 55 decibel sound level at 150 meter altitude, which is comparable to the noise of a dishwasher. For certification, FlyNow has two cards up their sleeve. Firstly, it is not fully autonomous. It only flies automatically on a predetermined point-to-point -point route. It has a collision avoidance system that becomes active if the radar detects birds or any other airborne object. The e-copter maneuvers to avoid collision and returns to its flight path. Note that aviation agencies around the world are very cautious when it comes to autonomous aerial vehicles and hence automatic flying rather than completely autonomous flying technology is a more certain way of achieving certification. The second advantage eCopter will have is that it will be certified under existing regulations for rotorcraft. 
instead of the regulations of tilting mechanism EV tolls that are still in a state of flux. This will make the certification process quicker and cheaper. It is for these reasons that Saudi Arabia has selected the e-copter for the upcoming Riyadh Expo in 2030. For this global once in a decade event, several hundreds of these units will be used for transporting personnel. There will be three versions of the e-copter, a single seater, a two seater and a cargo helicopter. The development for 3000 units of the cargo version of the e-copter are also underway with production starting in 2027. The cargo copter is planned to carry a standard European size pallet of 1 meters in height and has a maximum payload weight of 200 kilograms. We will keep an eye on this aircraft as it is likely to be one of the first to achieve certification. Thank you for your attention.